Oh, yeah. Welcome back to another video. We're out here on Reventuli Coast and found my first level 3 Capricali. And there's a moose right there. I'm going to try and take him with the recurve. I want to shoot him out of the air. I could just shoot him on the ground, which would be pretty easy, but definitely would rather shoot me out of the air. Alright, I've been tracking this guy for over an hour easily. Finally lost his tracks. He must have went right at this pond, even though I went over there and I could not find any tracks. He was just not leaving any, any tracks because there's a lot of whitetail tracks getting in the way of his. But this is where I've tracked him so far. Oh, and it doesn't even show actually how far I tracked him. I first started um, down here. Wait, no. At uh, this lodge right here and chase him down here he went all the way down this way basically to where we are right now and then all the way up here all up way to the top of this and then down to right here and I don't know why it's not just showing the whole trail but it's been very long all right I reset the time it's a couple days later and I think we're just going to shoot him with the recurve on the ground because it's just too hard to get a shot when they're flying through trees. If I find some, find another level 3 Capricali out in the tundra, then I'll definitely try to take it in the air. But it's just a pain chasing around in the trees. Oh, there he is right there. Right at 60 meters. Could easily shoot it from here. Might as well get up super close and try and shoot him while he's strutting. Such cool birds. A lot cooler looking than turkeys, I think. Definitely my f favorite ground bird or game bird in this game right now. I really like the black grouse too. They remind me of the spruce grouse that I have where I live. And he just noticed us, so we're going to have to get back next to this tree. Might just have to go for a 40 ish meter shot if he doesn't go back to calm. Let's just try and make it to this tree over here. Oh, and he noticed us. Gonna have to sit still. And I hope he does not run off. It looks like he is running off. Yeah, we're gonna have to get out that boat fast before he decides to fly. Got him. Try to hit him in the air too. But not likely to hit that. You can see how he's just way up in the trees. It's, it's way too hard to get a shot. I think he just went down. If he was out in the tundra, I'd for sure shoot him while he's flying in the air. Somewhere up here, once I find one up here. Let's see if this makes diamond. I don't know if they're like the turkeys where level 3s are guaranteed diamonds or not. Let's see, there we go, it is a diamond, just barely, apparently it shouldn't be, it's not, probably just a hidden decimal somehow, but I'll take that, first diamond Capricali, I'll also probably add into this video a uh, diamond links I got during the, create the early access for creators, and a diamond tufted duck I got while setting up some waterfowl blinds and decoys. But 4.6 with a recurve, another one out of the way with a recurve. Really like how cool these look. Alright. 
got a level 5 Canada Goose and a level 5 Tundra Bean Goose out here. I don't think the Tundra Bean Goose is in any of these flocks right now, but I've been trying to get him the last two resets. But the all the other geese always spook him after they land because apparently geese can smell in this game for whatever reason. But there's that level five. I'm gonna shoot that level five first and then probably have to reset and then get the level five tundra bean goose. This is actually probably that flock with the level five in it. Yep, he's right there. But unfortunately, this level 5 Canada Goose is definitely going to land first. We'll try and shoot with a Reeker bow to hopefully prevent the that flock from spooking. But I don't think it will, but might as well try. And of course, they're going to land downwind, so they're going to fly off. Let's see, where's the level five? Okay, the level five's right there. Oh gosh, dang it, missed. Let's see if that bean goose is anywhere. You could also probably try shooting that level five with the twenty-two. You can locate him. Oh, there's that little I don't think we spooked the bean goose, which is good. Let's hope it does not land downwind again. I hit a little bit high on that shot. This is probably where he's going to land, is with these ones. If I had to guess. Hopefully, those ones cannot smell us with this wind going this way. There he is right there. Okay, this is our chance. Okay, right at 46. Might just let him get a little bit closer to 40. Since they're not downwind anymore. Yeah, once he gets to 40, we'll shoot. Probably just go right there. Got him. Try and shoot some of these out of the sky. They're just so much faster than they used to be. It's going to be so hard. Yes, got him. That was cool. And those just landed even though I just shot. That was cool. Got that flying one. Hopefully this level 5 makes diamond and then we can go and reset the time and get that level 5 Canada Goose. Yes, it's a diamond. <laughs> I shot him while he was preening. Sweet diamond tundra bean goose with the recurve. That's such a weird pose. That's 44 meters. It perfect. Now we'll go grab that one we shot out of the air right there. That was cool. Pick up that arrow. Look at that 41 yards flying. That's cool. Right, our level five. Canada Goose is decoying now. I did change where I was set up with the tripod because the wind switched. I think very close. See, he's right there. Of course, they still somehow managed to land downwind. Where was he at? Okay, there we go. He is, of course, he lands in the trees. Down at 50 meters? 60. 
We're probably just going to have to take that shot. Yeah, we have to take that shot. For some reason, he can smell. And I think we just got him. Did we get him? Sound like a hit. Not 100% sure. Let's see if he flew off. Yep, oh, there he goes right there. That was lucky. I was able to get him back in frame before he fell. I've already got a diamond goose with the recurve, but no reason not to get another one. It would have been really sweet if I would have got this, if I want to have hit high that first shot at 40 yards or 40 meters before I shot that bean goose diamond. And this is also a diamond. Mount that guy. Gray brown. That would have been cool if I would have got him. And then how it didn't spook the tundra bean geese if I would have shot that one directly after. Uh, 67 meters with the recurve. Go put this in the lodge. All right, here we are in the Silver Ridge Peaks Lodge. Just gonna put them in here. I put them on this wall with all the other diamond birds since there's just so many diamond birds in this little room right here. Canada goose, we're probably gonna put right there. I don't know what pose to put it in. Probably that one. Then we'll just put the tundra bean goose right here. Yeah, like that, and then we got a tufted duck. Don't know where to put that. So I want to put. Yeah, we'll put him right there for now until we get another diamond duck to put over there from this map, from the new map. Probably like that. And then we also got a diamond capricali. Which I think I'd rather put on one of these platforms. This looks so cool. Look at him. This is my first time seeing these poses. Probably like that. I like that look. Love the Cabricalis. But with that, now that they're in the lodge, Diamond Goose. Well, two diamond geese, tundra bean goose, Canada goose, and I don't know what else will be in this video. It might just be all the diamonds I've had on this map so far. I killed the diamond lynx with the recurve before, well, during the creator early access, and then didn't play the new map until this week. And so I got that duck right there, and these two. And the Capricali. I might just put them all in one video. Since all but that duck right there was with the recurve. But with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.